Bam. The voice. The voice of the world. Orange. Hashtag. Voice of the world. So here in December 2019, me, Chris, that works here at Bridge City Sessions, friends of the, the company Orange Amplifiers, uh, they took us on this year and they let us use their beautiful amps so that we can make some videos for the Voice of Campaign, which has been nothing but fun and super rewarding. Now, I know that the, this month, you know, Voice of, Voice of the World is for celebrating the artists that use the stuff and their sponsors or maybe a, you know, like famous artists that are out in the world that use, you know, their products and such. But for me, I'm always here. And all the artists that come here to bridge a stage and use these amps, that's our world. So I'm going to be the voice of that. And this is our voice of the world. So I just want to kind of show off some of like some random picks uh, that we've done this year. Talk about a little bit and, um, you know, just kind of take a listen to each one of them. And check them out because that is our world. So yeah, check it out. So the first one we're going to pull up. This is a band from Austin, Texas called Sniper 66. They used our full back line, which consists of um, an 80-30 with a 212 vintage 30 cab. Uh, forgive me if I don't know all the titles of the cabs. I always forget. But, um, and then we've got a Rock Reverb MK3. And then um, a, a small Terror bass head with, I believe it's called an OB1 by 15. So yeah, the, the bass Terror. There we go. Um, yeah, so any, anytime that these videos are up, those are the amps that are in these videos. It's it's crazy to me how different these can sound, but anyway, here's Snapper 66. I'll show you a small clip of that. Yeah, awesome, right? I could, I could have, like, they would have had their own amps and brought them up and stuff, but there's so many of these videos this year have just sounded baller as hell because I've got that back line. Pretty cool. Uh, next one up, this is a band called The Lightheads. Uh, they're from Portland, Oregon, where we're from. And uh, here's a little snippet of that. These guys are awesome, man. Three piece. So this one, I think he used the Rocker Verb MK3 and then the Bass Terror. So there you go, it's three piece. opens up wide here it's cool awesome amps sound great the band sounds rocking love that uh, next up is a band from Brooklyn, Brooklyn, New York, called Taking Meds. Uh, if you haven't checked them out or any of these bands, feel free. Go to their, you know, respective band camps, Spotify, all this stuff, you know. But these guys are awesome. Uh, this has a couple members of the band Such Gold, um, who are good friends of the studio here. But these guys came in and killed it, man. Uh, it's the same setup, too. You've got the MK3 on the left the bass terror, and then uh, the 8030 on the right of your mix. So check that out.
That guitar part is crazy. <laughs> Fucking badass. It makes you feel like drunk or something. Yeah, those guys are awesome. Orange lineup. Voice of the world. There you go. Uh, here's another one. Western settings. So we're gonna we're gonna visit San Diego for two bands in a row here. These guys are awesome. Western settings. They've been around for a minute. They just dropped a new album, uh, which you can check out on all the places where you check things out. This song is called Another Year. Uh, same exact backline as before. MK3 on the left, bass terror in the middle. And the uh, AD30 on the right. Check it out. Such a cool voice, right? Awesome. Awesome, right? Yeah, big fan of that band. Uh, next up, we got a band, again, from San Diego. Uh, these guys are called Doc Hammer. And, boy, oh, boy, these guys are just a fucking fireball of energy, man. Same exact setup, just as before. MK3 on the left. Bass Terror in the middle. AD30 on the right. And these guys are just absolute fucking powerhouse, man. Killer band. When I mix this band, I you know sometimes I'll throw some extra EQ or maybe a little production value into some of the mixes, because that's what I do here. Um, this band, man, I just turned the faders up and it just sounded raw and fucking angry and I just left it like that. Yeah, it works. Check it out. Doc Hammer. good is that right i love that band and i love the tone of that band right yes very cool uh okay lastly uh thanks for sending me through this with me through, through this stuff you know i'm a big fan i love orange i love that they love me and i love making these videos so last one voice of the voice of the world band from merced california called early empires and uh, yeah, same same setup as before. Although I think, I think the guitar player on the right side is actually playing a different amp, but I'm not sure. I, I think it might just be an MK3 on the right on the left side of this one. But either way, still sounds baller. Check it out. This is Early Empires, Everender, Merced, California. Here you go.
That snare, that snare though, yeah? Mwah. You get the idea. Those guys are great, man. Early empires. Merced, California. Well, I guess that's it. You know, I'm, I'm sure we'll see you guys next year for some stuff. But um, it's in general, it's been an absolute pleasure having these amps here and working with Orange. They've been really good to us. And in turn, we've been able to be good to our bands. And those are the results of it for this year. So thanks to everybody who supports us out there. Thanks to Orange. The voice of the world. Peace.